Welcome back to K24 Alpha G. We are still on Tech Tuesday talking about the ways in which technology can be married into our day-to-day -day life. Of course, we talked about marrying the customer experience with tech earlier. Right now, though, we have, you know, welcoming back Dr. Bright Gameli Mawudor, who is going to show us the things that he showed me in campus because I've known him for a long time, where basically we're going to be talking about hacking, we're going to be talking about viruses and how they kind of mess up your internet security as yeah. well. All right, so before we get into the demonstrations, because as you can see, Bright has come to do harm. <laughs> Let's get into the conversation. So yeah. hi, Bright. Hey. Hey, how are you? Good, good. First of all... I have no idea. You, is... you, should have, you should have sent a memo, like, don't wear red. <laughs> Me, Jeff... Sarah, you, <laughs> it's like Valentine's Day in here, man. I like, know. All right, so let's get into it. Um, yeah. You know, people uh, keep talking about, oh, my computer has a virus, my phone has a virus, or we keep hearing, um, you know, get uh, various antiviruses to help you, internet security as well. But what is a virus? A virus is anything that um, basically a malicious uh, file or document or something that will be given to you mm -hmm. and it's supposed to do some harm right it's supposed to be able to exploit you it's supposed to be able to get access to your computer mm -hmm. it's supposed to even mess your computer up or mm -hmm. your phone right and they come in various formats they can come as a word document they can come as um say i mean they come in various formats so mm -hmm. it does it depends on how you, it gets to be to be delivered to you yeah yeah and you said the various ways of getting a virus from the person who created the malicious yeah. file yeah. to its victim. Yeah. So what are the various ways? Creating it is actually very easy. Mm -hmm. Getting it to the person is what is very difficult. Right. So the thing is, what we try to, if I want to hack you, mm -hmm. I need to be able to get a lot of information about you. Yes. That's what I'm going to show you today. How do I get information about you using various publicly available tools? Wow. Publicly available means I'm that you scared. can actually use that <laughs> <laughs> to exploit you. Yeah. So I can deliver the virus to you if I know that you are the finance person, you open Microsoft Word Excel documents, mm -hmm. that's what I'll give to you. Right. Sometimes I just have to give, to give you maybe, say, a PowerPoint presentation, and once you hover over a small space, you get hacked. At times, I even came with one, I will show you later, mm -hmm. how you put in a flash disk into a computer, and in a few seconds, you've been hacked. Wow. And it's, it's getting easier to do every day, um, by the day. I mean, mm -hmm. There are various ways that are, anybody can deliver to you. So creating the virus usually to bypass antiviruses, the traditional ways, it's not a hard thing. Mm -hmm. Delivering it to you mm -hmm. and making sure you click on it is the most difficult part. And you, know, you said that uh, you know, as it, it was uh, a malicious person wanting to hack people. Yeah. You know, getting the, the virus to you is the hardest thing. Yeah. Now let's talk about internet security because right now we spend a lot of time on yeah. the internet. And one of the things that we keep being told is, oh, you need to get uh, this program, you need to get this antivirus, you need to get yeah. this internet security. And I think you and I wanted this conversation that you, don't, you really don't need all that. <laughs> you don't, people overcomplicate. Yeah. I find some people having two, three, four, five antiviruses on their computer. Now, that's yeah. too heavy. Yeah. Even your comp will slow down. It will slow down. Just have the normal one that you ever have on your computer. Mm -hmm. It work. I mean, yeah. at diverse companies are doing so much yeah. to be able to protect you. So it's not like they're sleeping on it. Yeah. But again, we, we're human beings. Mm -hmm. We make mistakes. We make various mistakes that actually allow us to be able to get compromised. Mm -hmm. So the problem is actually our awareness that we need to take care of rather than thinking about technology. Mm -hmm. Technology can, can only do so far, to so much. But you I say, have to make the mistake. You have to make the mistake. You yeah. say somebody will create. I mean, you know how banks say they have firewalls. And <laughs> yeah, that means they're secure. Yeah. But the thing is, a firewall is a firewall. A firewall is created by somebody. Right mm -hmm. now, we're going into artificial intelligence and machine learning, which mm -hmm. is trying to study behavioral analysis to yeah. be able to protect you from such things. Right. Which is good. But again, there's only so much they can do. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you are the problem. So I tell people that. Don't think cyber. We can't blame the people for always, of always for actually being the problem to cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. But again, they need to be aware. They need to be the responsible. Cybersecurity or mm -hmm. cyber resilience in an organization is not, an, it's not a technical person's job. Yeah, it's everybody's job. Because if I do want to compromise an organization, maybe I'll use the front desk. Yeah, the people who are the, the, the front desk lady is going to yeah. allow me to plug in a flash disk. And to or can you charge my phone for me? Charge for exactly. Yes. If I plug this phone to charge on your laptop, I can actually tell this phone that whenever I plug this phone here, yeah. type all these commands for me in a flash. 
Why do it take me more than two minutes to type? It will be typed in seven seconds. Wow. And seven seconds of distraction is all I need to do to actually make sure that you get compromised. I'll show you right now. All right. In fact, let's just get right into it. So I have a device here. You have your laptop there. Yeah. So before, um, before this, before mm -hmm. you even click on anything, I mm -hmm. want to just take you through generally how I, I, I got information about people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's start there. Yeah. So... Um, I don't know if we can pull this uh, up on the screen. Uh, we see... Um, uh, there we go. Um, so right now, okay, that's called a terminal, but I'm not even going to use that. Let me show you the very simple one. Okay. You know, this is a highway for hackers. <laughs> You use Google every day for mm -hmm. basic searches, but I use it in a very different way. For example, if I, if I come say site, ke, if I'll type mm -hmm. doc and say resume, basically says that search every Microsoft Word document that has the word, res which any resume that exists wow. on the website. I'm not stealing anything. This is just using publicly available information. So same way if, I say, what? <laughs> entitle index of, what's, do you watch Criminal Minds? I do. No, let's make it a bit home, yeah? DJ yeah. Mix Kenya, and okay. they come in the form of MP3. You basically find DJ mixes of um, Kenyan Shinsky. <laughs> this is because maybe he made a mistake on his website, and you can download all these mixes for free. What? <laughs> I can't even. And the same way that... Um, so, DJ Shitsky, if you're watching, maybe you should uh, well, secure I, your not, things. <laughs> if I say criminal minds and the common MP4... Okay, MP4. that's what I spelled, criminal darling. Oh, well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> criminal minds, every cam MP3, no, MP4. MP4, yes. MOV, MKV. Um, we're talking about other formats like what? Uh, AVI? AVI, maybe WAV. So, you know, you know the, 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 front, the front part says... Pay, buy, pop-ups, and everything. Yes. But the back end says that you can download for free. So why even no try to bother? Way. And it's easy to get anything you want, books and the likes. Um, same way, if I want to now, for example, um, let me see. Mm -hmm. If I want to find out about MediaMax. Yes. <laughs> We're not Please. hacking, baby. We just use it. You know, Bright, I like working here. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy so I can my say, job. I can say, uh, look, I want to find any document, any PDF document that has MediaMax, at MediaMax in there. In fact, just close that right now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> close it. Or if I put this at K24, it tells me everybody who actually works at K24. Yes, using Google. I'm not saying it's bad to put stuff on LinkedIn, but you can basically find anything about everyone. So, so if, if you wanted to find out about Shiro, for instance. Oh, in fact, that's that's that's. Me, I just know there are no nudes. <laughs> that's why I'm very confident. So, you see, if I want to, again, I could have used yeah. another tool like this to find out, say, everybody who works at K24, yeah. their positions, what they do. Yeah. Um, if I want to find out about Shiro, what mm. I would do is, um, first of all, can't, where's my mouse? <laughs> Oh, there it is. Yeah. I'll go use something, say, mostly I know where you work. So I'll say, uh, let me say, GPS location. And I'll get to find out where exactly we are. Okay. Where are we right now? Uh, Kijaba Street. Yeah, let's say K24. K24, studio. yeah. K24, Kijabe Street. Street. And then now we get the GPS coordinates, right? So basically, I want to find out every single person that tweets around this area. Possibly you. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Jeff, Sarah, and Ian Wafula just switching off their phones. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, now you're just doing nerd things now. Nah, I just basically, so I go there, pull out the details of this location, and say within a kilometer radius, I want to find out the last 20 tweets around this area. And I should be able to pull out um, just all the tweets, anybody who tweets around this area. 
right. Now, if I get all those tweets accounts, maybe I just want to find out details about you. I want to know what phone do you use? Okay. Oh my gosh. And I could pull out this guy's pictures or anything, but I'm focusing on you right now. So. Yeah, I haven't tweeted today. Oh, I, I already did that. Wow. Now I'm feeling all well, I haven't tweeted today, <laughs> you can't find me. What is happening? So basically, I can profile you by just, just because of your Twitter account. I can tell how many followers you have, what kind of, you, most of the time you tweet, you don't retweet. Um, you, you, have, you post a lot of links. And these are the kind of things that you post a lot. So I can profile you to say, and even know all the times that you tweet a lot. And I know you're an Android person. You have an Android phone, right? Yes. So I'm going to show you how easily it is to actually compromise an Android phone. Can I switch off my phone first? Before? No, you don't have to. You just leave it on. <laughs> so basically, I can profile you just because of publicly. But they, all these tools are publicly available. I'm right. not using any magic tool here. Now, when I gather all this information, I know the kind of hashtags. I could actually specifically try to profile you according to a particular date and time. Right particular tweets, particular hashtags, I could exclude just some sort of maybe say, um, I don't know, it's a, if I want to profile you properly, these are the kind of things. So I know who... I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I know who possibly worked with you, who you tweet a lot, who is your favorite tweet out of the tweets. Maybe I like can pull out a thousand tweets and analyze who, yeah. who exactly responds to your tweet or who do you respond to a lot. Right. Now, that information is what I'll use to know. Maybe the person likes to eat or you like to eat. So I'll send you something which has to do with food. And then, of course, you know that I'll click on the link. Exactly. And then that's how you get So, in. for example, I, I'll set up what we call a command and control. A command and control is basically like a master sending out a slave to go gather information and bring it back. So um, <laughs> my command and control... <laughs> right, please don't hack me. I'm, I'm not hacking We're you. We're friends. <laughs> please. <laughs> so, first of all, I'll set up my... Okay. Server and wow. So, assuming that's the target machine, mm -hmm. you have this laptop with you, yes. and I'll say, you know what? I've sent you a document. Mm -hmm. That document is on the desktop right now. Yes, it's the. It's so an, you said it's a. Um, it's called it's called Chakula form. I'm looking you know, for the mouse. Uh, Where my mouse at? Oh, sorry. <laughs> You can actually dismiss. Oh, oh it's a touch screen. Yeah. Okay. So when you open this document, it opens as an Excel sheet. So you see there's an error on the screen, right? Yeah. What does it read? It's reading something. Chakula.form. This application appears to be made on an older version of Microsoft Office Suite. Please have the author saved to a never newer and supported uh, format. How long does that take you to, to read? Uh, <laughs> about it's five to ten seconds. Yeah. So I've read. And then what happens? God, you're inside. No! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what, what's happening? Like you turned on my camera. Yep. So you what you're looking at, even if you click OK, it will close. So the thing is, by the time you come back to me and tell me that uh, your computer has been hacked, the document does not work, I've hacked you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So this is why when you see um, people like uh, Mike, Mark Zuckerberg, he always covers his webcam. Exactly. Always. Yeah. That's just easy. And I can create, I can create anything on, this, on the desktop. I can shut it down. Can I have my back, please, if you don't mind? Yeah. I think it's else. gone. <laughs> yeah. It's not gone. Yeah, I've just closed it. Yeah, I wanted to show people what Sarah and them were doing. But Sarah now has come to present a bag to Bright. <laughs> I just wanted something. I don't know really where he's going. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so you so have a see, flash disk. It's not a flash disk. It looks like one, but it's not. So this is not a flash disk? Nope. What is. Will it explode? I will show you how it works. So that what, I what you have there in your hand yeah. is called a human interface device. A human interface device is like a mouse or keyboard. Mm -hmm. Now, a mouse or keyboard, when you buy a new mouse or keyboard, does it, do you have to install anything? No. Yeah. It just works. Yeah. Now, what I, this thing, I'm going to open it for you to see. Um, so are you going to open it on your device? No, so let's, yeah. let's try to focus on this screen here. Okay. I want you to look on this screen as so, a plug in this flash disk. All right, so I'll have to tilt it a bit so that the camera can grab it. Yes. There we go. So 
if you plug this flash disk in, mm -hmm. it starts to type. So let's count. One, One two, two, three, three. Oh four, my God, four, five. five. And then I walk away. And in that short time, I have access to your laptop. What? You, you don't believe it, do you? Can you shut it down? Look on the screen. Okay. I'm so if looking. You if you focus on this right now, yeah. let's say shut down. What? You are a bad, you, bad man. If I open this right now, it's not your everyday normal flash disk. Right. Because it's a storage device. It's supposed to be a storage device, right? Right. So why would a storage device have another storage device, which is an SD card inside? Yo. So it looks like a flash disk? Yes. It doesn't work like a flash disk. So basically, if you're a bad person, and the way you said, like, you know, you can go to a company and get, gain access, and you don't have to go to the IT office, do that, you can gain access yep. through the front, front office. Exactly. Supposing I go and I tell the person at reception, hey, um, I have a document, can you just maybe print, print, for me, can you print or, this for me? Hey, let me tell you something, all you need is a nice cologne, look very... Hey, okay, and right. Then you, <laughs> you... <laughs> so, okay, can you switch my, my device back on now? No. Oh, he doesn't feel like... So you're already in? Yeah. So now what are you doing? I want to share what happens to mobile phones. So if it, it's an application that you create. Now, when you create an application and... The, so I can close this? Yeah, you can close oh, this. Okay, Majority cool. of the time, most people don't put security properly on yeah, mobile I, applications. I want to hold it up, yeah? Okay, so I just have a simple app. I don't mm -hmm. need to show everybody, really. Yes. But I'll show you how long it takes for you to actually... Gain access to a mobile phone. Yeah. Uh, my connection is bad. <laughs> I'm not going to see much. <laughs> All right, so... But that's it. Basically, that's how... It's just based using publicly available information about you, and somebody should be able to have access to almost your life just because of um, the things that we leave out there. Yeah. Okay, this is starting. Wow. And for mobile phone, it's even faster. So if I give you this phone right now, you have your phone with you, right? No. <laughs> I, I knew who was coming to see you. <laughs> it's not a really bad thing to say. <laughs> so once the mobile application has been done that way, yeah. I can say, I want to take, see how long it takes when I, you see, when you have a connection, it shows something on the screen. Yes. So when I open this app, in one second, I have access to the phone. Oh, and, and it looks like a very nice shopping app. Yeah. You know, so you, you think you're actually having a shopping app, right? But, but what... meantime, right is inside my phone. Yes. And um, let me show you something which actually confirms. So I can send, say, basically so, okay, I can see... So, what's happening right now? Oh, it is not working. Why? So, okay, right now on the phone, I'm in the shopping app, but you as the hacker, have access to, you have access. Yeah, so, so I can go to SD card to uh -huh. see all your pictures. This is the pictures on this phone. Yes. Um, I can pull out anything. I'm trying to see if I can send an SMS from the phone even. I think, I think you need, if you can do something to the phone, to, yeah. I like, don't know, to make, you make the phone do something, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, that would be a bit, whatever, but let me see. Send. SMS. Yeah. So I can send an SMS to anybody here. Uh, let's say the destination person is, say, plus 254. Uh-huh. Um, what's the number here? Where's the phone? I'm not telling you my number <laughs> on here. <laughs> we can send, any, we can send SMS, SMS to anyone. Yes, to anyone. Sarah, send an SMS to you. Okay. Yeah. You have Sarah's seven? number, right? I don't know it off. It's seven. Eh. <laughs> 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 but basically, oh, I can send okay. an SMS. Uh, you know what? Can, can, we can get someone's number in the gallery. Just as long as you know that this is a big bad man. He used to work in the army. <laughs> so don't call him. Okay, 0729. 729. Uh huh. 074. 074. Oh, no, 374. Sorry. Three, yeah. 374. Uh huh. 848. 848. Yes. Then you can send a text saying hacked at K24. Oh my gosh. All right. 
that's not me. So that, that text will go to the person, but the okay. person can actually flush me. Send me a flush. Tell the, the person to just um, okay. give me a missed call. They yeah, I can actually hear in the... So now the person can flush. Can you, can, can you flush this phone? Because now you've gotten a text from this number. Can you flush it? And we can dump All right, call you log. do that. No, the, the screen is off. The director is complaining that the screen is off, but it's good to, for it to be off so that when you flash, we can see. Okay, now flash again. I just need a missed call. Oh, wow. Okay, so who's calling? Are you calling or are they no, calling? No, call me. Oh, yeah, you need to call. When you met to pick you up, when you met to me, your text. Yeah. Send, please call quickly. <laughs> oh gosh, they don't have airtime. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you hacked but them. But if they, they, if they call. call me, I should yeah. be able to pull out, say, the call yeah. record from this phone. Wow. Yeah. Second okay. Dump. All right. So now what's the second thing that you can do? Um, so that's basically just, I just, well. I, I can't show you everything because oh, yes. some things that will look a bit too... Yeah, yeah, we'll walk out and find the police waiting for you downstairs. <laughs> but these are publicly available tools. Yeah. I'm, I'm not using anything advanced. This is a yeah. basic, basic, basic <clears throat> of tools that you can use. Yeah. And um, they are, they're, everybody's learning how to use them. There are thousands of people who know how to use this. Yeah. And uh, so it's not up to people to be aware of such things that can happen to them. Wow. Yeah. So how do I, how do I protect myself from okay, you, I know you wouldn't do it because yeah. you're not a black hat. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, but how do I protect myself? Oh, uh, first of all, you need to make sure that you have basic security. We're mm -hmm. talking about antiviruses. Don't yeah. ignore antiviruses. They're yeah. doing something. Mm -hmm. um, so have an antivirus which is installed on your computer. Uh huh. Excuse me. If you don't want to buy a new one, mm -hmm. use the one that comes with the computer. They're, they're yeah. really good. Secondly, make sure you're aware of the kind of things that you click, the kind of uh, system that you get access to. Yeah. Uh, be also be very careful of kind of information you give out there. Right. We've been hearing about this whole SIM swap thing that has been happening. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you don't give out too much information when somebody calls you. Verify all that information. In fact, about the swim, SIM swap, Bright, you want to come back next week? You tell us about SIM swap, please, uh, and how it works. We'll, we'll see about that. Why yes, not? we will talk about yeah. it. <laughs>